busted. Catherine the Great gave birth to a son. Peter continued to heap abuse on her because he was suspicious of the child's origin. No one in the contemporary court really believed the child was his, but no one really cared because the Empress finally had an heir. Any questions? Any confusion? Any... anything? Professor Jenkins! Professor Jenkins! Oh, hello, Stephen. Drop this. Thank you. You look really nice today. Hello? So when are you coming home this weekend? I'm not coming. You're coming. Julie, I'm, I'm not coming. I just got my car fixed, theoretically. I have a student who's willing to go above and beyond the call of duty and getting an A, and... I just can't handle Mother's High Drama this weekend. It's your parents' 45th wedding anniversary. You're coming. I I'm not coming. I'm not going. I'm not going. Yes, you are. And Brad? Happy birthday. I'm not going. Bumpity, 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 bump. God, I loved riding that pony as a kid. What was it? 14 vaginal orgasms in less than an hour. Not that Jackson isn't sufficient, but at first it was a little touch and go. Honey, not now. When Jackson and I first started dating, he would go down on me. Afterwards, he'd always get a cold. I freaked out. I thought, oh my god, Jackson is allergic to pussy. Um, can I get you some wine? I don't drink, unfortunately. Oh, here. Thank you. You're welcome. Bumpity, 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 bump. Oh, my God. How can you stand to work with her? Nine to five? Uh-uh. Excuse me? But I am glad she sat us up. Because you are cute. I'll be right back. Ooh, I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go.
get some coffee. What? Thank you. You look great. Steven, I have to apologize. For what? This, having coffee. You know I'm 40 years old. A young 40. That's why you should meet my dad. He's gay. Him and my mom recently divorced. I mean, I wasn't sure if you were gay. But I knew you were different. You didn't think that I was. Oh shit, I'm sorry, no, I didn't. No, not at all. Your father, me, the same age, common ground. We probably both owned a pet rock in 73. I'm sorry, I, I didn't. Listen, I, I should call it a night. Elk along the way, they escape from the park, they're goddamn everywhere. <laughs> hey, Dad. What's with the sunglasses? Cataract surgery. Can't take them off till that little shit Bill Demson tells me I can't. <laughs> can't see his hand in front of his face. Yes, that's not true. <laughs> that's Louise, dear. I'm downwind. Oh, come here, give me a big hug! <laughs> oh, hey, Mrs. Baker. Mr. Baker. Listen to him. Been best friends with your parents since before you were born. Still, he says Mrs. Baker. Oh. Louise, hello! <laughs> well, it's uh, good to be home. Start straight up, right, Charlie? Please. Bob! Come outside! I'm making a drink! No! Happy 45th. Well, look at that. How'd she run, Terry? Like a charm, Mr. Jenkins. Good, let's go back to the bar. Don't you want to drive it? After a few drinks. Brad? Bill Dempson. I'll be damned. How long has it been? Honey, this is Brad. We were best friends in high school. I'm loaded. <laughs> Hun, go grab a seat and cross your legs. Your dad comes to see me. Who would have ever thought Bill Dempson would become a doctor? So are you, but I'm a real one, an MD. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Julie, you look great. Having fun yet? Working on it. You two did everything in school together, and she ends up marrying your brother. How did that happen? Me and you stopped talking. You stopped talking to me. Well, what happened? Well, I told you I was a fag. Oh, yeah. What? Where's Farah? I bought that hoping it would make me straight. Your nephews? You are correct, sir. I'll put them in your wallet. Hey. Look at this. Dwayne Twillis. 
was out in high school. He died of AIDS in the 80s. I never even told him I was gay. Mm, look, Yolanda Smith. Roland Davis, the most handsome, the most athletic. Oh, I was always in love with him. He never even knew I existed. Secret? I always wanted Roland Davis to have taken me to our blue jean ball. Blue jean ball. What a rip. Every other high school had a prom and we had a blue jean ball. How embarrassing. And Keith, home from college, had to pick you up because you were too drunk to drive home. And he died a year later. Now, he was the brother you should have married. He was the special one. The day I transferred to Lincoln, met you when I dropped my books. I knew you were someone special. Oh. Have you been drinking? God damn it, Brad. Oh. You promised. You always bail on your promises. Shit, relax. What the hell is wrong with you? I just turned 40. I'm gay. I'm still single. You do the math. Oh, Christ, when will you wake up and realize some straight guy Republican who voted for both the Bushes is never going to fall in love with you? When the day comes and you're attracted to someone and you let them know it, not knowing whether they're going to smile or kick your ass, then we can spar. What do you know about my attractions? What do you know about my being gay? Living in a world where no one pays attention to you? Julie, women bitch about construction workers yelling at them. Jesus, do you know how nice it would be if just some hard hat would tell me what a nice ass I had? Which is pretty fucking nice, I might add. So I can't fix a car. But I sure as hell don't have to dress up like Judy Garland either. You've lost me at Judy Garland fixing a car. Julie, I'm always gonna be different. I just wish that I was normal. Normal? Fine. You can have my normal life. You can have my normal job, my normal husband who's having a perfectly normal affair with his normal fucking secretary. Wait a minute, is it my turn? Oh, no. I got it, I got it right here. Oh, you better <laughs> not be. Oh. <laughs> Why? Show up, show up. <laughs> Need some help? No, no, I was uh, just helping clean up. That's what I'm for. I saw Mrs. Longworth at the party. She says Teresa's doing wonderful. She's in town. You should go out. Mom, I'm gay. How many times do we have to have this conversation? Alright, alright. No, no, it's not alright. Do I have to give you a pop quiz every time I come home? We will not create a scene with company in the house. We are middle class white people. Well, well don't worry mom, I'm not gonna bring home any son-in-law. All the real cowboys are gone, haven't you heard? What are you talking about? I'm talking, I'm saying you and dad raised a great family. No dysfunction here, you raised three great boys. Hey, one of them was taken away from you too soon, but everybody said Keith and I were just alike. wasn't that different. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Hey, no offense taken. Where are you going? Some place where I'm not so goddamn different. Bob, this dishwasher sucks. Okay, boys, line forms to the right. I need a man who looks fabulous.
I got a limp wrist. Just what I need, some Blair Witch shit. Once you put that word down, you completely messed me up. That's all. What all happened to Nick? Well, I what? I, I, what? Nobody what cared. It made me sad. Right. Right. You have a blank too? Is it? Yeah. I've got a Hannah. I've got a Hannah here. Pay attention, watch this one. I think I got it. Let's see, what you got, what you got? Air. Straight. See, Straight. I told you I got it. Straight. <laughs> you better not be. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. dressed or you'll be late for school. School? That's right. It's time to go to school. Louise! Listen to him, Louise. Mother Baker, hello? <laughs> I'll be in meetings all day, but I shouldn't be late for supper. I hope not. Oh, you're such a hoper. <gasps> Morning! Oh, look, there's your dad and Daddy Baker. Now, what would they want so early in the morning? Looks like we have something outside. <laughs> Happy senior year. I wrecked my car. Wrecked your car? Well, that's impossible. You just got it. And here it is, just like you always wanted. Look at him. He's so happy he can't even talk. <laughs> Let's take that boy in for some cake. Cake? This early? Oh, hey, why not? Holy shit.
What are you doing? Bill? Bill? Guys are with guys. Girls are with girls. So? We're old enough to date. Yeah, but they're with each other like they're couples. What did your parents bail on you? Leave it to me to fill in the blanks. Guys like guys, girls like girls. Get it? How do we produce? You're serious, aren't you? Your parental partner? Parental partner? The woman you decide to have children with, your female best friend. Parental partner, right. Are we together? We're practically brothers. That would be like incest or something. Yuck. Holy shit. Brad. Brad. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Brad. Brad Jenkins. Am I? Hi, Roland. You look really nice today. Holy shit. People, 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 come on, come on. Find your opposite partner and take your shower. You've got five minutes till the next bell. Roland Davis thought you looked nice today. Wow. What's the matter? Jenkins, hitch your ass into shower seven and quit flirting. Yolanda Smith. Brad Jenkins. Hey, are you okay? Brad Jenkins. Yes. You're home. Yes. Why? I live here. It's Thursday night. You're supposed to be at your father's and daddy Baker's tonight. Now hop over there before dinner starts. Your father thinks I mother you enough as it is. Ooh, that chicken looks good. And so do these thighs. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Son, what's wrong? Where's my room? Upstairs? Well, you are going to eat it and like it. I don't want to hear any complaints. I'm not going to day. eat and like iceberg lettuce. It's romaine lettuce, by the way. And you and could you have used it. real cheese. Uh, I, I don't want to even hear it. Now look. This cheese has never seen the inside of a cow. Well, why don't you just wash it down with a nice can of Billy beer? You could feed it to the dog. What's wrong? My room is exactly the same way as it is across the street. Well, that's how you wanted it. Did something happen at school? Sam? 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 <gasps> Sam? It's okay, Brad. It's just Sam. I haven't seen him since we had him put to sleep. Sam hasn't been put to sleep. He's fine. He's just waiting for you to come home from school, like always. What's happening to me, Sam? 
What the fuck is going on? Can I come in? I'm getting old. <laughs> I spoke with your mother tonight. She thinks something might be wrong. I think I know what it is. Upset about Sam, other things. You're growing up. Soon you're going to meet somebody. You'll settle down with them. You'll have children with someone as wonderful as your mother. You'll all have wonderful children and be happy. Dad, this is so odd. Well, it might sound silly to you. I'm sure you know all this stuff already. But it's important that you hear it from me. Dad. Yes, son? I like guys. I've always wanted to tell you that. Chip off the old block. You wrecked your car? Not that car, my other car. You don't have another car. What were you doing at Overlook Ridge? That's where straight people go and, you know. I can't tell you that. You wouldn't believe me. I don't believe me. Let's just go to Overlook Ridge and I'll show you the car. Why me? Because you've always helped my family. And because you own a tow truck. Come on, Brad. I know it was here. It's somewhere around here. You gotta believe me. It's the city. They probably uh, brought the car back to the city lot. But I'm not gonna do anything until you tell me what this is all about. Come on, Brad. You don't need to lie like this. Are you a bedwetter? I didn't wet my car, I wrecked my car. Listen, I don't have time to be taken away from work for some kind of practical joke. You're a good kid. You don't need to do this for attention. That's just it. I'm not a kid. I'm 40 years old. A young 40. Look at me. Don't I act it? I pay bills now. I get great retirement benefits. I took a real aggressive package. I could have early retirement at 55 if I wanted to. Listen, I'm taking you back. Let's go. I know it sounds crazy, Terry, but I'm not. You gotta believe me, Terry. You just gotta. This is it. This is my car. It's junk. Yeah, but they didn't make cars like these back in the 70s. It could be a demo. Terry, now do you believe me? I can't believe anybody would listen to that shit. What if they listen to it on this? Where's the needle? They're digital. It's read by binary code, bitmaps, something like that. Jesus. I hate to sound like Michael J. Fox, but I'm from the future. It's not me, Terry. It's me. Who's Michael J. Fox? If you can get it running, I think I can get back home. It doesn't make any sense, but it makes no sense me being here in the first place. So let me get this straight. In your world, men like being with women. That's what they say, until they drink a six pack. So if I fix it, then what? 
We'll take it back to Overlook Ridge, see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll just wait another 20 years to get back on the internet. But if your world is the way you say it is, why would you want to go back? It's where I belong. The French Revolution began in 1799. It changed the course of the country's history, which still affects it today. Danton and Robespierre dominated the new government. Robespierre gradually gaining over um, Danton. Yes, Brad. I think you're confusing the dates. You think so? Actually, I know so. You're confusing it with the fall of Robespierre. The revolution itself began in 1793. At least, that was the beginning of the flight of the emigres and the resurrection of the lampposts. You know, Mr. Jenkins, I haven't always been just a high school teacher. I was a professor before I came here. And do you know where? Gilligan's Island. You have an attitude problem, young man. You know, I'm gonna have to call your parents. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir. Good then. That's what I want to hear. Now what you need is some more school spirit and some more class involvement. I noticed you didn't sign up to take anybody to the Blue Jean Ball. Now I'm sure there is some young man just waiting to ask you. Or you ask him. Oh, Roland, how's our old American, huh? Hi. Hi, Roland. Now, about that basketball scholarship, I think you should consider all three Brad, can you show our new transfer student to room 24? This is... Julie! You know my name. You are correct, sir. So what's the school like? Ah, oh, waste of time. God, I can't get over how young you look. I am a senior. So what are the girls like? I don't know. I guess not your guy. Oh, here it is, room 422. So, I'll just yeah, say Thanks for the tour. You should have seen the look on Mr. Thompson's face when you took him down. Yeah, real mature on my part. Hi, Brad. Hi, Roland. I hope you didn't get in trouble with Mr. Falk. Nah, great guy. <laughs> See ya. Look at you. You've got the best looking guy talking to you, and you're smart. <laughs> Fuck you, breeder. That's Dwayne Twillis. Fucking hole puncher. What? You know, breeder, straight. He likes girls so much, he even acts like one. God, it makes me sick. This Janice Ean album is the coolest. That is so straight. You dropped your milk. Listen, I just... Brad, is that you? You're home. I'm at Mom's tonight. I'm going right no. now. No, you've got company. Roland came by to see you. Roland's been telling us about his plans to play for the NBA. I was just wondering if you'd like to go out with me for some ice cream. Go on, we're at your mom's tonight, every goddamn night, playing Scrabble. 
Okay. Can I change real quick? Sure. <laughs> he was all alone. He was just sitting at the end of the bar. God, I was so nervous being in that place. But something made me go up and talk to him. I just went up to him and asked if I could sit at his table. He stood up, just like the perfect gentleman. He was 34. 34? <laughs> yeah, divorced with two kids. Jeez. Well, we decided to try it. I don't know, I thought it was my last chance to finally have a family. It didn't end very well. It was too much for him, it was too much for me. The moral of the story is, don't get in a one-night stand that ends up lasting two years. I like you. You're different than all the other guys. It runs! Overlook Ridge! Tomorrow night! Excuse me. I just don't want to do it. What about your life? Where you belong? Your retirement benefits? I'm having fun here. Why do you want to take that away from me? It wasn't my decision. Shit. Shit, all right. Okay. 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Don't tell your parents. Yeah. What's happening at Overlook Ridge? Nothing, uh... We're test driving a car. Guess you like older guys. No. Oh, God, no. You don't know. You asking me out for ice cream is something I've always dreamed. It happened exactly how I'd hoped. But it just can't happen again. It's just not in the cards. Why? Because you wouldn't like older guys. I had a friend who went to Jordan and they uh, spelled fences. Uh, I two think it's double There's two Z's, or yeah. yeah. What you getting, hon? I came to say goodbye. Going back out? You and Roland have a good time. I'm real proud of you. Is it, what's what? the blank? Huh? What? Oh. Well, what oh. the? Lover. Lover. Oh, Lover. Oh, you just messed You'd up my You'd be a good word. boy. Oh, I gotta change it's everything. Not. Liver? Oh, you it's just not, messed up my word. No, I don't Lever. have a word it's to lover. use. Ooh, it's waiting. Um, <laughs> I uh, wanted to tell you all, I think what you got going here really works. I love you all very much. We love you too, hon. This is something How do you spell fezzes? Uh, double C. It's Arabic anyway.
I say I got about a half mile stretch down the road is where it happened. What do you plan to do? If it worked for Michael J. Fox, it can work for me. Who's this guy from the South? Ramming speed. You're gonna crash this car? Are you crazy? Right where I crashed it before. I have to. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. I don't belong here. I gotta get home and grade papers. Don't always work so hard, Terry. Have some fun sometimes. I'm not gonna let you do this. Being around all straight people has really fucked you up. What are you doing? I'm putting this damn thing in neutral. That's not neutral! It's first gear! What's up? Are you crazy? You could have gotten yourself killed. What are you doing here? I followed you. Why? Because... Because I like older guys. What the fuck am I doing? I'm never leaving this place. Ever. Stop 
said you're gonna get us kicked out. Forget that. What? Let's just go. Where? Here. Wildcat Hills. Wildcat Hills? It's only six hours away. The best place to hike ever. Let's go and get married. Beg your pardon? Marry me. Okay. Really? Let's go. Get your ass to the gym. What do you think you are, a basketball player or a cheerleader? Promise me we'll go someday. Promise me we'll backpack Wildcat Hills. I promise. My brother's a jerk, but I know he thinks the world of you. What? God, Julie, if you only knew. I'm normal now. What's your name? Brad. Brad? You're freaking me out. I have no idea what you're talking about. I can pick up my own books, thank you. Serious. Good luck. Wait a minute. I'm not lighting this thing. Listen, Marine, we got a mission and we're going through with it. We're gonna run a 22 niner. You guys run flies, you guys run pulse. Ready? Break! Oh shit! I didn't see you. Oh, unlike today, when you napalmed us? Boys. Hey, what's with you? I don't know what's with you. Why do you want to talk to me all the time? History? Oh, I know. I'm on to you. What? You want me as a parental partner, don't you? Having kids together? I'm not having kids. Oh, my congratulations on saving our planet. 
Hey, <laughs> you should check out the game. I'm winning. Shit, <laughs> Roland. I'm not in heat. So did you make the team? Yeah. No thanks to you. So how come you don't want to have children? I don't know. Afraid they'll turn out like me. What's wrong with you? Can't fix a car. Well, I'm gonna have kids. Two beautiful girls. What if they're boys? Uh-uh. I'm gonna have girls. Girls, right. Brad! It's my boyfriend. I gotta go. I'm normal now. Yolanda. They changed office departments. Don't you ever read the sign-up sheet? Listen, I want to apologize about the other night. Did you hear me? I said I'm sorry. Could you turn around, please? What? Could you turn around, please? No problem. Game's over. Why are you still here? I'm waiting for Roland. Coming to the party? Not sure. I'll talk to you later. God, if only I could date a jock. plan. Afterwards, you want to have sex? <laughs> Hell yeah. So when you dropped your books the first day that we met, what did you mean by I was special? Have you always been in love with me? Is that why you married my brother, the next best thing?
I got your note. What are you doing? Somebody could see us. So what? Nobody cares, only straight people come here. No. You were terrific. Let's do it again. No, we can't. It's not right. I was just experimenting. I'm not an experiment. I want to be your boyfriend. You're nuts. That's great. That's my new nickname, Planners. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? Where do we go? I didn't sneak every time we want to meet. And we can't go anywhere or do anything without somebody seeing us. How's it going? Fine. What's up? Nothing. Nice day. What do you want? Nothing, man. We just wanted to go somewhere. You know, like a bar. We thought you might know some places. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Two cokes, please. What? I gotta work early in the morning. This is a trip. Come on, let's dance. Back inside. I got you. Come on, man. Here, put your
breeder. Is it true? It's not that simple. You promised me. Getting married? Wildcat Hills? How could you embarrass me like this? I have a game tomorrow night. else can go wrong. I feel like a freak. Julie. Leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? Something wrong? I talked to Roland's mother this morning. She told me some pretty disturbing things. Really? Like what? I can't get this stain out. I don't know why you always make such a mess. Her name is Julie. I don't want to know anything about her. Her name is Julie and I love her. That's disgusting. How can you say that? How can you even think that? There's nothing for me to be ashamed of. It's wrong. That's crazy. Tell that to the neighbors. Tell that to your father. Oh, yeah, the guy who you had sex with to have me. It's not the same. It's love, but not like that. I could never be with someone of the opposite sex in that way. Good for you, but I can. It's a sin. Then I go to hell. But guess what? You don't. Mom. Mom. Look at me. Look at me. Mama. I'm alone. I got stuck with this life I didn't want. I don't know whether I chose it or it chose me. You're just 18 years old. What are you talking about? I'm back, Mom. I've come back trying to make things right. If God had wanted man and a woman to be together, he would have made women like football.
So, what's next? You graduate in a couple of weeks. What are you going to do? I don't know. Head for California, start Microsoft. Mm, come on. What's your big wish? What's the number one thing you've always wanted to do, which is a secret? Secret? What? Ah, forget it. Hey, well, congratulations. You fixed the car. By the way, found this in your back seat. You know, maybe it's not such a good idea to play Captain Kirk at your age. What are you doing? I've come to ask you something. You can't climb out my house and come in my room. Julie, will you go to the ball with me? I can't. You're a boy. You can do anything you want to do. Oh, I don't want to be like this. I feel so different. There's something wrong with me. Julie, hey, the minute you accept that you're different is the moment you become normal. Julie. Here. Oh, they're beautiful. The most beautiful boys I've ever seen. They're your children, Julie. <laughs> I've never met anyone with more love or more understanding to give than you. What are you? Just a normal guy. Where the hell are you two going? To the ball. And if you don't get out of our way, I'm gonna fuck you up. You were my friend. Now you make me sick. Then take some Pepto-Bismol. Is there a problem here? They want to come to the ball. As a couple. Well, then get out of their way. And let them come in. You can't do that. I'm the teacher. I can do whatever the hell I want. Thanks, Professor.
May I have this dance? I get to leave. <laughs> Not on my clock. We'll have none of that. What are you doing? We can't keep your kind out, but I can certainly keep you from doing something as disgusting as what you're doing. What are we doing? What you're doing is vulgar. And if you think we're going to sit around and be forced to watch such a disgusting spectacle, well, you can just think again. He can't make us stop. Yes, he can. But it doesn't matter. There's a nice tree outside we can dance under. Come on. No. I want to dance at my ball. Julie. We can spar later. You better listen to him, young lady. You're not welcome. None of us here wants you or your kind around. Would you like to have this dance with me? Hell yeah! Roland. Roland. What are you... Roland? Roland, you stop this, this instant! Roland, you are an all-American. I've been waiting 20 years to ask you this. May I have this dance? I beg your Nancy. pardon. Stop it. It is. Brought it here just like you told me to. What is it? It's a magic carpet. It can take us anywhere we want to go. <laughs> Help! 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 Oh, you freak! Help me! Fucking breeder! Hurry up! Oh. Hurry up! Hole puncher! You fucking freak! Oh. You're never gonna hurt me again! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Bill? Shut up! Nobody's even listening to you! I'm straight. I like women. There's nothing you can say or do that's ever gonna change that.
There's nothing I would do to ever change that. Brad? What's wrong? It's my brother, Keith. Come and take you home, sport. <sighs> I wanted you as a friend and got you as a girlfriend. I wanted you as a boyfriend. <laughs> and got you as a friend. It seems I spent my whole life always wanting. What I want isn't necessarily what I need. I need to go home. Shotgun. Can somebody take me home? I'll have another butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. I'll get the doctor. Oh, shit. It's okay, Brad. You're gonna be fine. You're going to be okay, dear. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Mark, are you calling 495 All right, sit. Sleep no more, Wizard of Oz. Mind me, Dorothy's look like the Golf Channel. Well, there's no place like home. I gotta go. So soon? Well, once I get the kids settled at Mom's and talk with your brother, I'll be back. What's gonna happen? I don't know. He'll have to make a decision, I'll have to make a decision, and we'll take it from there. Tell him you're a lesbian, that always turns him on. <laughs> Tell me again how great sex with me in the shower was. Like being with NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys and Ricky Martin all rolled into one. Thank you for taking me to my blue jean ball. Back to Hard News with your host Timothy Lang. Tonight, homosexuals, 
Should they have rights? And if so, what kind? Our two panelists, Reverend Wilbur Dent, head of Christians Against Anyone Who Disagrees With Us organization, and Wayne Twillis, director of Queers In Your Face, based out of San Francisco, California. Reverend, as we were talking about earlier, homosexuals, rights? What kind, if any? These people are sick and should be without rights. We need to blow them up. What's next? The final solution? Nuke them all? I'm gay. There's nothing you're going to ever do to change that. So kiss my faggot ass. God will not honor this method. This organization, is not God's way. Gentlemen, will not gentlemen, we're going to have to ask you to speak one at a time. Country, gentlemen, people, them, gentlemen, Reverend, and Reverend. The earth. Not Reverend, we're going to have to. Reverend, female. we're going to have it's to ask you to be quiet, or we're going to have to cut you method. off. Reverend, that is not the way of God. Reverend, it we're going to have to. Oh, shut to up, you frickin' braider! We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. You're watching our news. Sam? Oh, oh my god, it is you! Hi, buddy! Oh, it's so good to see you! Yes! <laughs> it really did happen, didn't it, buddy? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey, mister, can I please have my dog back? Professor Jenkins? <laughs> Steven? Tracking me all this way. My god. Uh, don't worry, you got an A. I'm backpacking. I can see. Uh, did you go on sabbatical? It's like you just disappeared. Damn, Steven, I wanted to hike, not race. Professor Jenkins, this is my dad. Roland? Brad? <laughs> my god, it is you. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. Are you Stevens' professor? Is this who you were talking about? I can't believe you're here. A promise is a promise. 